Welcome back. Now uh, we're going to solve the second problem, which is a uh, ciprofloxacin. Just now we solved for pepricillin. Uh, we calculated the dose rate and the dose interval, and also the clearance T half. And uh, finally, uh, we also, you know, identified the dose regimen. Okay. And now we're going to solve for ciprofloxacin. It's the same formulas which we're going to use everything. And the first step is we have to calculate the renal fudge factor. Okay. C uh, for pepercillin is uh, 1 minus Fe times 1 minus Rf. Okay, 1 minus the fraction excreted for pepercillin is 0 0.6, 0 0.62 times 1 minus renal function. Just now we calculated the renal function for this uh, 0 0.19 for this patient, 0 0.19. Okay, the value, the renal fudge factor for pepercillin is 0 0.5. Now that we have the renal fudge factor, the next step is dose rate. The actual dose rate for a normal patient is uh, it's 1000 milligrams per day, right? Okay, so it's 1000 milligrams times the renal fudge factor, it's a 0 0.5. Okay, it's pretty easy. It's a uh, calculation 500 mg, right? Okay, the dose interval, it's 500 mg okay every 12 hours for normal patient so the interval is 12 hours okay so the dose interval of the normal patient divided by the renal fudge factor that is 0 0.5 okay it gives you 24 hours so this is pretty straightforward unlike the previous problem where we have 17 hours dose interval for the dose interval is 24 hours so every 24 hours so 500 mg, you know, every 24 hours. That's pretty straightforward for this. Uh, okay, so it's 500 mg, 24 hours. And for the previous one, it's 3 mg every 12 hours. Okay, the rest of the calculations, such as uh, the clearance and the T half, it's a similar way as we calculated for the earlier one. So the clearance. It's 36 times the renal fudge factor. If you want to calculate the clearance, superflux. The T half uh, for the superflux is again 5 divided by the renal fudge factor. Okay, oh, sorry, uh, 10 hours. So calculate that. And the next step is the secretion sites interaction with this, at the secretion sites. What if you dose propenicid along with these drugs? Okay, which drug will have a higher CSS and and a decreased clearance. Obviously, as you're aware, now the secretion sites in the glomerulus, the acid secretion sites, acids will compete with acids for acid secretion sites, okay? And only bases will compete with the base secretion sites. So here, if you dose propenicin, which is an acid, it will definitely compete with uh, pepericillin, you know, for the secretion sites and a less amount of the drug will secrete into the glomerulus and ultimately less amount of the drug will be cleared and the concentration at steady state will increase okay and which ultimately leads into the very the dosage adjustment again so the dose rate you have to alter and the dose you have to design a new regimen for that patient all right i'm going to stop this here